You are in sky. You are born grace. You are born in that God created man and crowned him with glory and honor. They crowned him with glory and honor. Glory and honor. Something honorable, something glorious, something beautiful. Amen. Amen. And so the us say we are beautifully made. We are beautifully made. What is beautifully made we must have glory. We must have honor. Hallelujah. Amen. But like our people we say <laughs> that condition made crayfish burn. Crayfish was not burnt. Did you see crayfish the crayfish to eat? The Lord crayfish is burnt. Almost like the half circle, is it not? You know? What other than the fish inside the water is not bent. But what, why they say condition made crayfish then? Because when you take crayfish out of the water, out of its natural habitat, and you bring it to the dry land, and you subject it to fire, the fire causes the crayfish to water then. So the hardship, now you go that in church. Hardship covered the whole globe. <coughs> I said to you, your complexion now is not your real complexion. When certain things touch you, yeah? Some words, the level of words, to, your complexion will change. You understand that point? Wrinkles will go. All those spots will go. And in today's world, when the crop is so, it's so common everywhere, expensive one and cheap ones. And they put in your face. Yeah? Put all the mascara and all whatever. Yeah? Nobody will know that you were you last spots. Nobody will know that you were this or that. But whatever the enemy has done, or whatever the sin of Adam has caused, should not deter you from desiring to be who God ordinarily created you. So don't see yourself and say, well, that's how God created me, so that's how my life will be. No. <coughs> what I'm going through, or what I've gone through from I don't know how long, all till last year, the first midnight, it's not what God ordained. Amen. Amen. It's not what God ordained for you. So like we said, sin, you know, is a reproach. Well, and I said, let's not look about it, but let's look at what God has done for us. Let's, want, let's see what God created us to be. What a man. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Father God, as we go to your word, speak to our hearts. Let every man receive revelation, insights. You are good. When you finish creation, you look and behold, all things were very good. Your words were very good. Beautifully and wonderfully made. Beautifully and wonderfully made. And so, Lord, we are trusting you because your son, Jesus, died to restore us and bring us back to the place of glory. Even though the wicked have been fighting, the wicked have been walking to some of our glory to shame, to cover our glory with darkness. But, Lord Jehovah, you are the light of our lives. Your word said, your people, your people, because of lack of knowledge, they are destroyed. Your people, Lord, according to your word, through knowledge, they just through knowledge of the believer. And so far, I will thank you because, Lord, we have come to obtain knowledge. We have come to obtain wisdom. We have come to see things in your light. So let your light expose, reveal that which we need to see. So that Lord will be who you ordain us to be. 
you are awesome, you are powerful. There's no power of darkness. There's no spirit anywhere that can stop you from doing what you want to do. And I want to say, Lord, we believe that it's not by power or by mind, but it's only by your grace, our life, and experience transformation. And so we say, have your way. Try to have your way. The journey has started. The journey of 2023 has started. And we have started in the future. <coughs> Hold our hands and lead us. And bring us not only to the end of the year, but bring us, oh God, through the year, in the glorious, wonderful, prosperous, peaceful way. So at the end of the year, we look back and say, what great and wonderful thing the Lord has done for us. So that your name will be glorified again. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, someone. Amen. So I say, I am a star. I would rather say you are a star. So you personalize it. Say, I am a star. I am a star. You know, when we say star, many times we look at people who are excelling in their professions. Particularly people in the people who are into sports. Yeah? Entertainment industry. Celebrities. Say they are star. It's a star. But every one of us is a star. What is a star? What is a star? So you say that man is a star. You go, what are you? Hmm? If you say that man is a star, then what are you? Are you a moon? Or is or is not? Uh, what is a star? For my online definition, a star is any massive self-luminous celestial body of gas. A massive any massive self luminous in other words, self-illuminating. It has light in itself. <coughs> Body of gas that shines by radiation derived from its internal energy sources. In other words, it gets energy it gets like it's powered from inside. That is the uh, So that power it generates causes to shine. That is what the ordinary star you see up there. Those stars that are seen up there, they are body of gases. But they have Energy in them, they have light in them. Mm -hmm. Though they are very tiny in size, they shine out at night. And in darkness, okay, they are tiny. But the truth of the matter is that because of the distance we have from the stars, those things you have seen there, they are massive. They are not tiny. <coughs> it's the distance that makes us see the stars are very small. They are not as small as you think. Okay? And the distance, because ordinarily, ordinarily, let's use the car for example. If you are driving at night and there's a car in front of you, or if you are standing, let's say you are standing. We are time on the spot. A car drives past you. The road is very straight. When the car is very close to you, or it just passed by you, you can see the tail lights shining very bright. The further the car goes away from you, the dimmer the light becomes. And it gets not again after some distance, you will not even see the light again. Even if the road is very what? Straight. 
that light that was shining when the car just passed beside you, that light you will not notice it again. But that you are not noticing, but not even the, the car does not have light again. No, the light is still there. It's not the distance. So, but the light of the star, though very far, that we are still able to see it, means that darkness, darkness does not cover it. Darkness trying to cover it. In fact, they shine out more in the dark. You don't see stars shining in the day. Stars shine out in the dark. So darkness does not cover it. So darkness should not cover it. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we say that very tiny in the night. The darkness of the night, the darker, let me say, the darker the night, the brighter the shining of the star. The darker the night, the brighter the shine of the star. Hallelujah. A man is said to be a star. Thank you, Jesus. A man is said to be a star when he is performing excellently. Or shining very bright in a particular field of endeavor. It can be in sports, it can be in entertainment industry, music, it can be any area. You say the guy's a star. Why? Because he's shining. Why get to know he is performing very well? The results of the performance is known everywhere. Are you here? So you know the one that said, Oh, my star. I'm not performing very well. Nobody knows you. <laughs> Don't let that definition, because that is human definition. That is what? Human definition. Thank you, Jesus. But according to scripture, every creature created by God has its own glory. Stars have their light, and now they have their glory. But the Bible also says that everything that God created has their own glory, and they all have their own shine. They have their own shine. So you have your own shine. Your shine will be different from my own shine. That's nice. But you have all shine, yes. yes. Stars shine. Different stars shine differently. Are we here? Yes. All stars don't shine the same way. They shine differently. But well, are they all shining? Yes. So you should shine your shine. Oh, so you yes. shine my shine. Yes. Amen. 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 Don't be jealous about my shining and let us not so much be jealous of yours of your shining. You have your shine, I have my shine. Every one of us will shine our shine. Yes. Yes. The most important thing is that you are shining. Yes. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So the scripture says that every creature created by God has his own glory and shine. And every man has his own star. Every man has his own star. Because stars shine. Stars have their glory. Okay? So if every man has his own star. And the glory of the man is the glory of his star. The glory of the man is the glory of his star. How glorious is your star? How glorious is your star? In other words, the glory of your star is what people will see because that will determine your own shining. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to go with understanding because this year, child of God, you don't need to go with that negative mentality that, you know, you are nobody. You are somebody. Yeah. Yeah? You are somebody. And whatever will stop you from shining, the Lord will give it. Yeah. You must shine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, I repeat, every man has his own star. 
And the glory of the man is the glory of his star. And also the glory hmm, of that man. The glory of that star and the glory of the man. Right, the star. The glory of the man is the glory of the star. The glory of the star is the glory of the man. Are you here? Look at first Corinthians 15. First, because we need to support this in the scripture. If this is what God has said, we have to take it, believe it, so that it can be what we experience in our lives. First Corinthians 15, 40. There are also celestial bodies, celestial, that is heavenly bodies, like sun, moon, stars. They are celestial bodies. And their bodies terrestrial, bodies terrestrial, that is, bodies on the earth, you, animals, plants, bodies terrestrial, that's earthly bodies. So they are heavenly bodies, they are earthly bodies. Hallelujah. Amen. But the glory of the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is one. So celestial, celestial bodies have their own glory. And terrestrial bodies also have their own glory. You know what they have their own shine. We also have our own shine. There is the glory of the sun. The sun has its own glory. And another glory of the moon. The moon and the sun, they are both luminous. They are both light. But they don't shine the same way. Is that not so? Yes. They don't shine the same way. And another glory of the stars. Another glory of the stars. So the stars also are stars all over the heavens. And they also have their own glory. They also have their own shine. They also have their own light. That is how we see them. So we see the sun. When it is time for sun, we see sun. When it is time for moon, we see moon. When it is time to see the stars, we see the stars. Everything has its own time to shine. Your time to shine, let nobody stop you from shining at that time. Yeah. For one star different from another star in what? What does that mean? We say one star. Because it's one sun, we see one sun. We see one moon. But we see several stars. Now, we see several stars. But each star has its own glory, different from another star's glory. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Yes, so what does that mean? You have your own light. You have your own star. <laughs> your star has its own glory. The glory of your star is different from the glory of my own star. But do we have glory? Yes. Do we all have glory? Yes. We have all glory. Star A does not stop Star B from shining. Star A is shining on its own. Star B is shining. All the stars are shining when they are supposed to shine. Hallelujah. But like I said, they did not say that what is the sin of Adam that made man to fall short of his glory. Man didn't lose all the glory from him. Falling short and falling completely, they are two different things. Man didn't fall completely from his glory. Man only fell short of his glory. Yeah? Give me a cup of water. Fill it. Yeah? If it is full, it's full. When it is a little 
big shots. They can be maybe let's say the core is this length. Let's say this length of the core. I say Philip, if it's to the brain, God crowned man with glory and honor when God created man. But because of the sin of Adam, that full glory became so man fell short of the glory. He didn't lose all the glory. The glory came down. It that glory that man has, I speak with man to do exploits. The natural man, you don't need to be a Christian. Some of the things, cars, all the uh, things that have been invented, some of them were not made by Christians. Let me use the word. Unbelievers yeah, are doing things that they are doing because they have glory in them. The natural man has his own glory. Man, all that did not fall accomplish, did not lose all the glory. He only fell short of it. That small glory, that little glory that he has, that glory, if every one of us will use the glory that is left, will do wonders. Do you understand that? Yes. It's not like scientists said, look, he said the, 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 the capacity of human brain. In fact, they, some people believe that they say man is not even used not to one tenth of the capacity of his brain. Man is not even to one tenth of the capacity of his brain. What the brain can do is unimaginable. In other words, we don't tax our brain like we should. Like we should. So, the sin of Adam made man to do what? To fall short of the glory. But that glory that is left with man, that glory is also what man is using to do the things that man is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So man didn't lose all the glory. But the Bible tells us that when Christ died, he died to restore us according to the book of Hebrews. He died to bring us back again to the place of fullness of glory. He died to restore us, to bring us to the place of fullness of glory and honor. So, child of God, you have no excuse not to shine. The man, natural man, that flesh of his glory is doing things. Talk more of night that have been restored back to the place of the fullness of glory. Mm. Hello? Yes. The natural man. That is why you cannot say you are a child of God and then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't let ignorance make you to live a defeated life. Don't let ignorance make you to live a life of poverty. Don't let ignorance make you to live a life of being pitied. Nobody should pity you. Nobody should pity you. It's only for you to recognize, know who you are and what you have. Are you here? Know what you are. Know what you have. You have been restored back to the place of glory. So if the unbeliever can do certain things, you that is in Christ, you can do far better. You can do far better. Unless you allow the enemy to rob you, to cheat you. Make you think that, well, you know, like people, you know, as we speak, so I you believe that uh, they are sinners, Christians. You tell them that the righteousness of God says, not say nobody is righteous. The Bible says, all have sin and fallen short of the glory of God. But Christ has recovered you, brought you back to the place of fullness of glory. You are still dead. They say, no, it's like some people have been in the prison house. 
you are open the prison, somebody has paid for your work, for your for your freedom, for them to leave from the prison, from the guard room, from the cell. They are paid for you. It is for you to now walk out. The, go, the door is even open, the gate is even open. But you are there sitting inside. No, the policemen, the waters, the security men that sit at the gate. I can't go out. You have been paid for. The angel, angel of God that came to deliver Peter. Huh? He said to Peter, listen, wear your shoes and begin to go out. Peter began to go out. The Bible says the gates were open to Peter on their own accord. If Peter decided to sit down in that place, the gates would not open. So stand up and begin to go, knowing that you have what? Be free. Say, I have been free. I have been free. To shine. To shine. You can't sit any longer in darkness. And stop sitting in darkness. And stop expecting people to pity you and give you peanuts. Stop it. If you want pity, let God be the one to pity you. Yes. Come on, this can pity you and nothing will happen. But when God pities you, something will happen. Yes. So Christ died to bring God back to the place of glory and honor to restore us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Oh, thank you, Father. So, child of God, like we said, the glory of one star is different from the glory of another star. So, the glory of one man, your own glory, is different from my own glory. Christ has restored us back to the place of the fullness of glory. The Bible says he became him. He became Christ. He put that to you. You can look at it there. He became him who tasted death. He tasted death on our behalf. He paid for us to bring us back again to the place of glory and honor. So, child of God, when you know, number one, that ordinarily, and even as unbeliever, Unbelievers, there's really there's really no reason for competition and comparisons. Because you have your own glory, I have my own glory. But now Christ has restored us back. Every one of us is have seen Christ in the place of the fullness of glory. Is that not so? So know that Christ has restored you. So you are in a place to shine your own shine and let me shine my own shine. Because the way he restored you is the way he restored me. When he paid for my poverty so I can be rich, the same price he paid for me is the same price he paid for you. When he paid for me to succeed in life, or for you to, the same price he paid for you is the same price he paid for me. He didn't share different blood. In the same blood he shared for every one of us. Yes. In the same cross he went to for every one of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So there should be no reason for God or necessary comparison and competition among us. Among us. Rather, we should help one another to shine. Mm-hmm. Help me to shine. Maybe it's my turn to shine this way. When it's time for sun to shine, the moon gets out of the way. When it's time for the start to shine, the sun gets out of the way. Then, so that the star will come up. Because as long as the sun, if you go out now, you will not see the star. So of us. But the sun knows that there's a time it has to get out of the way. So that the stars will do what? We shine. So that the moon will shine. 
Thank you, Jesus. So I have my own glory. You have your own glory. We can all shine individually. And like I said, my shine should not stop your shine. And your shine should not stop my shine. So allow me to shine. I will allow you to shine. In fact, shine your shine. Go ahead and shine. I say, go ahead and shine. Yes. Go ahead and shine. Go ahead and shine. Yes. And when you are shining, I should be glad for you. That you are shining. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Don't tell your neighbor, go ahead and shine. Go ahead and shine. Hmm? Amen. Let it go ahead and shine. Thank you, Jesus. Now, what does this mean? We should help one another to shine and not be obstacle to another person shining. Don't be an obstacle. Don't with your don't, don't be envious and you know, you know what I mean. Huh? When somebody is shining, you try to be little the person. When somebody wants to shine, you want to put the person down. Don't do that. That is witchcraft. Yeah? Somebody shining, you you just look with your bad eye, and even with the person is not shining, or even wish I wish you were the one shining. No, let the person shine. That is the time for the person to shine. Your time to shine will come, yes. and will allow you to shine as well. Yes. The question is, we all need to pray to God so that we can locate the area where we will shine. Pray to God to help you locate the area where you will shine. Because where will you shine will not be where you are shining. Let God make you to locate. Let God lead you by the Spirit to the place where you will shine. Did you understand this? It may be in your area, it may be in business, it may be in business, business something what let, let me say something, let me say, let me tell you something here. You may be one doing something that God has not ordained that in this place that way to shine. In other words, you are doing the wrong thing. You may also be in an environment where you are not supposed to shine. There is a place where you are supposed to shine. But to have found yourself in a place where you are not shining, pray to God to lead you to the place where you will shine. Yes. I think you said I read, I read the, uh, I read the, uh, I think a, a young girl, a young Nigerian girl, who was doing very badly in school here in Nigeria, and then she relocated, so she did very badly. You know, I don't know the or whatever. We're going to have the story went. But the same person, that was doing very badly here in Nigeria, that relocated to Basi, now became the best student in the school. And they're celebrating her. But while she was here, she was born. She was even, in fact, if I'm sure they were not taking the way, I would ask her to stop going to school. Let God lead you to the place where you will shine. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let God lead you. Let God lead you to, to, to do things that will make you to shine. That somebody is shining in this area does not mean you must shine in that area. Mm. Wow. So don't just do things because others are doing it. <laughs> if you do it because others are doing it, you are shining with something from shining because that is not where you are supposed to shine. You take the way you are supposed to shine. Hello. In football, you have the goalkeeper. You have what you call them now. Is it defense or what they call them? Defenders. You have the what? The defenders. Yeah? You have the word the strikers. Is that also? If a man that is supposed to be a striker, because when a stri strikers are supposed to do what? 
Some those. Yet he finds himself playing in the position where he's not supposed to play. He may not be able to shine the way he would have shined if he was playing in where he was supposed to score those. If he goes to keep, eh? the shining that he would, he would have had instead of scoring those, what we got to him at this point of going to keep him, going to be a goalkeeper, will be what? Will be shame. So instead of shining, what he's going to get is what? Shame. So locate where God wants you to be, what God wants you to do. People will recognize you there. That's where you will shine. So don't follow people because they are shining. You only, you, you only make them to shine more. You, you will lose your own shine. Shine the shine. Locate the place. There's a place for everybody to shine. Yes. Yes. There's a place for everybody to shine. Thank you, Jesus. God, I want to make you what? A shiny star. A shiny star. You may not be shining very bright for some reasons. You are already a star. I say you already what? A star. You are not shining for some reasons. And like I don't mention, you read that you may not be shining because you are not in the place where you are supposed to be shining. You are allowed, you are fully going to be where, like, for example, if a star appears to the sun in the new day, will you see the star? You won't see the star. The sun will cover it. So don't follow people that are shining or they are going to shine, that they are, they are doing what to make them to shine. Don't follow them. Don't follow them. If you follow them, they are shining, we stop from shining. There are people who are shining in different fields. If, for example, in the classroom, there are people who are very good in mathematics, some are very good in, uh, uh, what do you call it? Chemistry and all those stuff. In the summer point, there are people who are very good in sciences. There are some are very good in, in arts. Because your brother is shining in arts, and you are supposed to be shining in science, and out of envy, you go join him in the arts. You are killed your own shine. Nobody kills it. You kill it. You kill it yourself. Amen. So you need to discover the places where you have strengths. Discover where you have strengths as you are going through this year. Discover where you have strengths. Don't follow the multitudes. So that your shining will be made known to people. Hello. Yes, you're shining with it, you may not. So don't bury your own shine in the midst of the crowd. May God help you. Amen. May God help us. Amen. So you have your shine, but whatever is stopping it, the wicked also may be walking against you. Because the devil. Listen, that man first for the glory, but because Satan, first of all, you know Satan, this Satan will paint because he's black and white. Right? So, so Satan is synonymous with darkness and black, the blackness and all those stuff. Satan was the most beautiful of all the angels of God. God spent time creating Satan with 
choice precious metals, precious stones. So, because their loss is glory, because he has fallen, you know what I say? I saw Satan fall like what? Like me. Because they have lost his shine, Satan is looking for people to lose their shine team. So he cornered them. I made Adam to fail, I mean to fall, to fall short of the glory that God also gave to Adam. Are you here? But Adam has what? His what? His glory. He has his star to shine. You know, Jesus was not born like we were born. So the sin of Adam that made Adam to fall short of the glory of God, Jesus did not fall short of any glory. Hello, somebody. He didn't fall short of any glory. So his star was very bright. So when he was born, his star was so bright that the wise men could see it. He had his own star. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. As Christ had his own star, so you have the own star. They saw his own star because his star was not tarnished by the sin of man. His star was not tarnished by the sin of Adam. His star was not tarnished by the sin of Mary. You know Mary was a sin. So, that Mary was a virgin did not mean that Mary was a Mary was a sin. That's right. Mary was a sinner because she was born in sin. Her virginity did not stop her from being a sinner. That's right. As she was a virgin, did not mean she was not a sinner. She was a sinner because she came from Adam. Mary needed to be born again. The way you and I are born again. Hello, somebody. So the blood of Mary. The sin of Mary did not affect Jesus Christ. So Jesus did not, Jesus made you know, Mary like everyone of us. The Bible says, For man has sinned and has fallen short of the glory of God. Mary sinned Adam and fell short of the glory of God. And so everybody born in, in sin also fell short of the glory of God. But Jesus was not born in sin. So Jesus did not fall short of any glory. So he came with the fullness of his glory. Thank you, Jesus. So this, when he was born, let's look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. He said, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, yet came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. They came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Say, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For what? We have seen his work. What did they see? What did they see? Where did they see the star? They saw the star in the east. They saw the star in the east. Divine money, star that was, that was where? That was in Jerusalem. Because where the child was, the star was up there, representing him. The star was not moving on. The star was on top of where he was born, in Jerusalem, and he back then. Huh? So, in like, you see, light down somewhere. Huh? And you begin to follow the light. You begin to follow to the direction of the light. The light is not moving, you are the one moving. 
So they saw a star up there because it was shining so bright. Shining so bright. And they followed it. They followed it. And came to the place where it was like, this is it. But when they followed it, well, look at that story. We are not going to read all that. He said, For we are seeing the stars and have come to do what? They came to Jerusalem. Don't forget what happened. You can read that after. They saw the star and they're looking for where the child is born. Okay? And when they told the Herod that we saw the star and we are looking for it, and then was okay, uh, you guys. Should go out, go and search for search out for him. When you see him, come and tell me. To do what? So they can go and worship him. But the scripture said that he was saying that because he wanted to kill uh, the Lord. What was what, what, what were trying to do? We were trying to quench the star from shining. They're like, what we want to quench your star. What God did to heaven, may God do to them. <laughs> you understand? I said, what God did to heaven that wanted to go kill Jesus and pray that star, the glory of that star, may God do to them that have been looking for a way to quench your star. Amen. In number 24, he said, and verse 15, he said, and he took up the parable. Balaam took up the party and said, Balaam the son of Peor has said, the man whose eyes are open has said, and he has said, which heard the words of God and knew the knowledge of the most high, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance but having his eyes open. <laughs> yeah. He said, I shall see him. Huh? But not now. I shall behold him, but not now. There shall come a star out of Judah. Which star is this? Jesus. This was before Jesus was born. There shall come a star out of Jacob. A scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Seth. So this is Jesus. The star out of Jacob. And this is the star that is somewhere in the east. <coughs> now, what does it say to us? Even unbelievers. Huh? Unbelievers. The sorcerers. The diviners. They also believe in this. That is why they that book you call the uh, what do you call it? Horoscope. Is that not so? Yes. They tell you you have a, you tell you that they tell you say the book of the book of Sad, what they call it? That's what they call it. You don't know it. Yeah? Say what? Oh, this is the dark sign. Okay. And then you have your, the star. They say uh, somebody's star is uh, Capri, Capri, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces. Huh? Say, I'm not Pisces. I'm not Capricorn. I'm not of those things. Thank you, Jesus. But they make you to read it, make you to believe it. And then they used to manipulate what? Your destiny. Thank you, man. Let's look at this scripture, and I think we should be wrapping up today. We have some more to say. Psalm. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 19. Psalm 19. 
He said the heaven declare the glory of God. The heavens declare what? The glory of God. And the firmament showed his handiwork. The handiwork are we see in the heavens. What we see, we see the sun, we see the moon, we see the stars at night. They are the handiwork of God. Okay? The glory of God, the sun, the moon. The Bible tells us they have their own glory. Okay? He said, take unto thee, ultimate word, every day of that speech. This of that speech. This speak. Hmm? Night unto night showeth word for knowledge. Night. Do you know that God that interprets the, the stars? <coughs> eh? Monday prognosticators, star gazers, they look at the stars and they tell you the arrangement of the stars means certain things. Hello, somebody. He said there is no language, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. No speech. But that voice is not there. What did he say? Diviners, they speak to the moon in their language. People speak to the moon in their language. When those people who are into sorcery and all those stuff, when they make their cantations and speak, they speak in languages, and those that are speaking, they are speaking them into the sun. Some understand what they are saying. The moon understands what they are saying. They start to understand what they are saying in different languages. Are you here? Yes, sir. And those who speak back to them, they can also able to interpret it. Are you here? Yes. Now, look at this, verse 4. Their line is, the second of all, in verse 4, in verse 3, says, There is no spirit around them where their voice is not heard, where the voice of what? The heavens is not heard. Now, he said their land is going on throughout the earth, throughout the whole earth. Their land is going on, and their walls to the ends of the world. In them can they prepare a tabernacle for the sun. Okay? Which as the bride will come out of his chamber, and this as his trump band to run the race. The sun coming out, sunrise, coming out from his chamber, as we going to run the race. Huh? Because it goes from where? The sunrise from the where? From this set where so it goes, it's running. But as it's running, he's speaking. When God said the sun shall not smite you by day, the moon shall not smite you night. The things that wicked people are programmed into the sun, they are programmed into the moon through their utterances, their language, the sun understand the sun brings it back upon people that are not covered in the blood of Jesus. Who are not as people who are not shielded. So the sun comes. It's not just the heat, we're talking about the heat of the sun. There is something that been programmed into the sun that the sun releases back. Yes. When you read the star, what they program into the star is what the star is sending back to you. It's in that the star you are reading. And if you understand what the star, what the wicked are programming to the star, that is what you are not going to believe because you believe the work of the wicked. If you don't believe it, what you declare is that the, God says what? The sun, whatever you program into the sun, shall not smite me in the day. Whatever you program into the moon or the stars, shall not smite me in the night. Because those things are meant to work against the sons of men. Yes, sir. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, he said his going forth is from the edge of the world, the heaven, and his circle is from the edge of the earth. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Nothing. As long as under this text, I mean under this heaven, nothing is only God that will shield you 
from whatever is evil heat that the sun will release upon the earth. It's only God that will shield you from whatever evil the stars will release upon the earth. Yes. Yes. Hello. So, whatever they send, the, the enemy sent those things also to manipulate your star that is in the heaven. He said, Oh, you sons of men, how long will you turn my glory to shame? Who's going the glory of your star? They try to cover your star with darkness so that God will not see, so that it will not shine. But I say to God on your behalf, Everything the enemy has sent to the heaven to cover your soul. May those be taken away now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because you must shine. Yeah. Because you must shine. Yeah. Every satanic veil or covering cast spread over your life to stop you from shining this year. They lost that of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You understand? Yes. You understand? You understand? You should be shining. Yeah. I should say, I'm a star. I'm a star. I must shine. I must shine. People must see your light. Yeah. Most of your life. Whatever condition, like they say, that make the video bend, that condition will not be video bend. The Lord has set you free. He said, He make it the crooked to become what? Straight. Every thing that will make crooked and become straight. Any life in this world that will make crooked by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command that life to become straightened out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. So, child of God, let nobody stop you from shining. Amen. Let nobody cover your life with darkness. Amen. 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 Jesus, they saw the star. They shall see your star. Amen. 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 They saw the star of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen. They saw the star of Jesus. I know what happened. When they saw the star of Jesus, what happened? Stars are celebrated. Stars are celebrated, and is that not so? Yes. yes. So they saw the star of Jesus, and what did they say? What did they say? They were coming to celebrate him. That's what they came to do. They came to worship him. They came to celebrate him. May your star shine forth so that you will be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But you know what? It's not just to celebrate him. They gave him gifts. Oh. Oh. They gave him gifts. So your son needs to shine. So that favor will come to you. Yeah. Yeah. But the blessings of God will come to you. Yeah. So that men will not only recognize you for favor you. Yeah. Let's look at the natural child of God. Some of the athletes, our athletes, when they go to for the tournament eh, and they win, what happens? Government individuals give them gifts, they celebrate them. Oh, and they give them gifts. Why? Because they are going to shine. Oh, yeah. You will shine. Amen. And men will favor you. Amen. You will shine in your chosen career. Amen. You will shine 
in your business. Amen. You will shine in your education. Amen. You will shine in your marriage. Amen. You will shine in every area that God has directed you to go and shine. Nobody will stop you from shining in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But if you will shine, if you will shine, hold on to God. If you will shine, I said to you, the reason, the reason, the sin of Mary, okay, the sin of Adam, did not stop Jesus from shining well because Jesus had no sin in him. Mm. The Bible says sin is a reproach. Mm. Sin covers people from shining. Yes. Yes. So make sure you hold on to God and walk in the way of righteousness. Amen. Keep sin away from you. Amen. Amen. May God lead you to that place where you will shine. Amen. And the people celebrate you. Amen. 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 You are a star child of God. Yes. Go through this year and that mentality. Yes. I say go through the year 2023 in this mentality. Yes. I am a star. I am ordained to shine. Yes. Say I am ordained to shine. I am ordained to shine. Because stars shine. Because stars shine. Because stars shall see my glory. They shall see the glory of my star. And I shall be celebrated. I shall be celebrated. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to talk to you. But know of the truth that you're a star. Amen. Amen. Know you are a star. You are a star. And you will shine. No darkness can stop you from shining. Amen. Men have tried to stop from shining the past, but now you are powered with the light of God. Amen. Say, I am powered with the light of God. I am powered with the light of God. The light of Jesus. The light of Jesus. That shines in darkness. That shines in darkness. I know amount of darkness. I know amount of darkness. Can't stop it. Therefore, no amount of darkness, no amount of activities of the wicked can stop me from shining in Jesus' name. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. You have received the word. You have separated yourself. Talk to God. You separated yourself from the God called I mean, that's what you did during the camp. And now you know you are able to shine. Therefore, you will shine. You are powered by the light of Jesus. Darkness cannot stop you from shining. As men, the wise men, saw the star of Jesus and came to worship, men shall see your star from far. Trust God that who will see your star, they will get of you from far. From far, and people will come to you. They will hear of you from far, from far countries. You will not be a local champion. You will not be a local champion. A global champion, that's what you will be. Global, world champion, that's what you will be. 
Yes. We say light is life. Light means that no good. That light in you, the light, the glory of your child, may it help you. May it help you to get involved in what will make you to locate you and to celebrate you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's serve you Jesus. If you are here you are not giving your life to Jesus, do so now. Because there is no point sitting around. You are not giving your life to Jesus and you want to shine. Jesus is the life. You don't have life of your own. It is Christ. True Christ will have brought back to the place of glory. You want to give your life to Christ? Can I see your hand up? You want to give your life? You have not done so before. You want to do so, you can do so now. You are coming to church, but deep down in you, you know you are not born again. Raise up your hand. Let me pray with you. Raise up your hand. I'm not telling you, don't look at me because <laughs> you've allowed people to solve your shine on your own. If you have not given your life to Jesus before, you may have been going to church, but today you say, no, this year will be different. I must shine this year. My life must experience transformation this year. Because they transform lives in the positive direction that they will shine. Let me see your hand up. Anybody? If you are here, let me see your hand up. In the name of Jesus. If I all want to give praise the Lord for that. So, Father, I thank you for everyone here. I give you praise and glory and honor. The race has started. We receive understanding that we are stars and that Jesus has brought us back to the place of glory and honor. Lord, I pray. For everyone, therefore, that the grace to shine as stars, may that grace come upon everyone here. May that grace come upon everyone listening to this message. May they be empowered by the light of the Lord. And may they shine. May you direct them, O God. To those places, those areas where their light will become so bright that men will recognize them and celebrate them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At the start of Jesus, attracted wise men and they came to favor him to worship him. So, Lord, may the light of your sons and daughters so shine that favor will come to locate them. Amen. Blessings will locate them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever the enemy may have done or plan to do this year, to cover your people with darkness so that light will not come. My Father, may those things never walk. May they never stand. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your daughters of God looking up to you for light partners. The enemy has covered their star. So that they will not be located. Today, may that be removed in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, may that light shine. Amen. That your son and your day for them will locate them. Amen. Let your children be found. Amen. And let those who want to find, Father, may their eyes be open to see the light. Amen. You are directing them to see. And let them find that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Have the way, King of Glory. Find you for the success, the prosperity, the victories, and the glory that we have received this year. 
We sanctify the girls this year. Unto you are God. Have your way. And be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.